Hi, this is Valerie from Aaron Holtz Farms, and I'm finally doing another video. It's trying to rain outside, so I'm trying to stay inside, and planting season is almost done, so that's I'm a little bit less busy. So today I wanted to talk about a really important tool that we use with the cattle, which is called the flight zone. I learned about the flight zone in school. Um, it's If you work with cattle long enough, you kind of get a sense of it, and you learn it over time, but I I learned it in school before I learned that. And uh, my classmates that I've talked to who learned it with me in school, they've said it's been really useful on their farms, and I've found it to be really useful on my farm as well. And uh, so I'll explain what that is. The flight zone goes back to the fight or flight response of animals. If an animal feels like it's in danger, it will either flee from the, the danger, which it which is the flight response, or it will fight the danger, which is the fight response. Uh, cattle are prey animals, so they will usually flee. We really don't want them to fight, because usually what they're fighting is us, and they're almost always going to win if they're fighting us. That's just not fun. Um, so we use the flight zone. So if you take a look at a cow, you look at it from the top, a uh, cow will have a flight zone, it's sort of this ellipse around the cow, and if you get to the edge of the flight zone, say this is the edge of the flight zone, the cow's going to stop and look at you, and her ears will be up, and you know she's paying attention to you. If you step into the flight zone, she's going to back away, or walk away, whatever direction. Um, that's just to get away from you. Um, people have it too, we call it personal space. Same thing. Uh, Tame cows will have a smaller flight zone, so you have to get closer to them to move them. Wild cows uh, have a really big flight zone, and you do not want to move them by themselves, because they'll just run away, you can't keep up with them. So the way it works, you need to move a cow this way, you come up to it, and you come close, get into the flight zone, and she's going to move away from you, and it's that simple. Uh, if you want to move it forward or backwards, you have to keep in mind the shoulder area here. If you approach a cow from the back, she will move away from you, she'll walk forwards. You approach her from the front, she will back away from you, and then often will turn and walk away once she's got out of the flight zone. But if you're walking up to her and you pass her shoulder, she, if you're coming from the front, she'll back up until you pass the shoulder, and then she'll go forwards. Same thing if you come from the back, and you're moving her away, and you pass that shoulder, she will suddenly move backwards. Um, so uh, that's a good way to stop them, slow them down, um, turn them around if you need to. Uh, and you can do it quietly, you don't have to shout and wave your arms, you just walk up to them. Um, you can also do it with a herd. A herd sort of has a collective flight zone, so once you've figured out where the shoulder area is, you can move a herd relatively easily, depending on how wild they are, uh, using this flight zone technique. And the flight zone is an important tool uh, in low-stress cattle handling, which is what we really like. We do not want our cattle stressed out. Partly it stresses us out, and it's also dangerous for us. And partly, uh, cows just do better when they're not stressed. They grow better because they keep eating. If they get stressed out, they're going to stop eating because they don't feel safe. Uh, and they're, you know, they can hurt themselves, they start running. Uh, so it's just economical to keep cows calm as often as possible, to not stress them out. That's why we have low stress uh, handling equipment, uh, which I should probably talk about sometime. Yeah, um, so that is the flight zone of a cow. I hope you enjoyed it.